Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I'm Nina Roy. We're here at Chocolate by Morgan's Bay in Babylon. And I'm gonna show you one of the simplest recipes we make but probably the most popular. It's called almond butter crunch. And it has very, very few ingredients, but they all have to be good ingredients so that you have a wonderful outcome. We're gonna use some almonds, sugar, and butter. Also a dash of salt. That's just how simple the recipe is in terms of ingredients. These are almonds. We want them to be coarse. They're gonna stand out in the mixture and the flavor will be evenly distributed, so you don't have to make it too fine a powder. I'm gonna take a half pound of butter. We use unsalted butter across the board for everything we make here. I'm gonna put it in a pot. I'm gonna melt it down. I'm gonna put a touch of salt in. We're gonna introduce the sugar to the melted butter mixture. Introduce it slowly, and this way it will not clump. We stir it consistently we want all of these ingredients to combine well. We want it to come to a boil for one minute. I'm using high heat now. The ingredients are combined, so I'm comfortable that they will not separate at this point, but I continue stirring. This will make a full half tray. Now that the mixture has had an opportunity to come to a full boil for a minute, we're gonna introduce the almonds that we've put through the food processor. And again, we want this to fully combine. We're gonna to continue to stir it. And this is where you're gonna use a little bit of elbow grease. You want this to completely combine on a high heat. We do it in small quantities because it appears to work much better than doing it in a large volume. I have tried making it in larger quantities but I was not happy with uh, the consistency. Oh my goodness, please. The aroma of the butter and sugar cooking, I could sell you that bridge outside a few times over. We expect the full process of making this from start to finish is about 20 minutes. I'm gonna pour this out into uh, the prepared pan now. What we wanna do, is spread this around as evenly as possible in the pan. We'll let this cool for three minutes. We'll set the timer. We've completed our almond butter crunch. We've put it in the pan and spread it. We waited three minutes before scoring it, and that's what we'll do now. You want to score it into bite-sized pieces, and we use a flat blade for that. We use the blade, reason being, the product can stick to it. If you use a pizza cutter, it will actually lift the product up onto the blade. And we find that this is the easiest tool to use for this, as well as the most effective. And if need be, you can even coat the blade with a touch of butter, if the butter crunch is sticking too much. This is the optimum time to cut this. Once it has cooled completely, you're going to have to break it and you will not have uniform pieces. We're going to allow this to cool for approximately a half hour. Then it'll be cool to the touch and then you can taste it. Any sooner than that, again, I'm concerned you might, you might burn your tongue. So give it a little bit of time. It'll be well worth it. And of course, you're welcome to visit us here at Nine Post Place in Babylon, Chocolate Boy Morgan's Bay. And we're also on the web at chocolatebymorgansbay.com.